So her name was Stamata Raviti. She was a Greek woman. And someone saw Stamata walking along this path and said, with her child and said, like, well, maybe you should run the marathon. But she said, sure. And she showed up like she came to the press conference like the night before that all these like male marathoners were having. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to run this race, too. Um, and they actually did try to trick her, the IOC or whoever was there kind of like in representing the race itself said, oh, don't worry, like we're going to actually have the women's race is going to be tomorrow. <laughs> so she showed up for the race and they were like, no, 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 like the women will run tomorrow. And so she's like, okay, well, turns out no other women were running, of course. So she, the next day did run the race. Um, she like made sure that everyone knew she like had a little piece of paper signed by like an official to show that like she started and finished. Um, and this is a woman who like, she was just a lady off the street. She did not she wasn't a runner, you know, like there, that wasn't really even a thing then. Um, so of course she had never trained and she did it. Like she finished the race. She finished a whole marathon. Um, and that to me is so such an incredible example of like, yeah, whose story gets told and whose story kind of gets left out. Like we say there was not a women's Olympic marathon until 1984, but women were running it, you know, long before that.